you're done with your studies, you found a decent job, got promoted a couple of times, maybe you started a relationship, started thinking about getting babies, a house, an apartment, and simply you're making everyone in your, in your surrounding proud of you. And you start questioning, am I doing the right thing for myself? Am I satisfied with, with what I have? These questions came through my mind throughout the past few years and I took some steps in order to find my why. In this video, I, was exp I will explain these steps. And yeah, so for those who don't know me, my name is Max. You can watch my previous videos about my cultural background and you will get to know me throughout this video. Stay tuned. What am I doing next to my job? So before answering this question, let's have a look at my career. So I've been in the technology industry for the past 10 years, basically in consulting and software sales. And I was able to get promoted each year and 3x my salary. But at the end of the day, I realized money is not everything. And that's when I started questioning. So am I happy? Is this my why? Is this what I dreamt of my whole life? To be in this full-time job, getting this much, so much money. And three years ago, that's when I understood that's not my why. So I started defining different plans in order to get there where I want to go. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, it was the perfect time to reflect even further and start taking action. So my plan, I defined the first point of the plan was to start learning. So working hard on myself. The second point was to move abroad, to work even harder on myself. And the third point is to start my own business. So all these points that I defined, they were all inspired by Jim, Jim Ron if you know him. So he once said, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. If you work hard on your job, you make a living. But if you work hard on yourself, that's when you'll make a fortune. And with this mentality, I started applying to a master's in business administration and I got uh, my place in the uh, Warwick Business School MBA, and that's what I'm doing right now next to my full-time job. I also started directing myself, rerouting myself into the entrepreneurship area. And that's why I'm doing some executive learnings at the Harvard Business School online and at the MIT. So at the Harvard Business School, what I'm doing, I'm learning about the entrepreneurship, how to start the co a company, and how to finance the company. And at the MIT, it's where actually I'm most motivated. It's about the blockchain technology, what I'm learning, about the business applications. And uh, that's the area where I will be founding one day my own company. For the step two, moving abroad, that's when I decided to move from Germany, from Munich to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. And I did this move with my family back in uh, 2021 and the idea behind this move is again to work harder on myself each time you move abroad you get to know yourself you give yourself a chance to start from zero you give yourself a chance to simply understand what are you looking for and that's exactly the motivation that I'm carrying with me each day and that's how I motivate myself now each day because I know I'm going into my goal and nothing will stop me from getting to my goal. You might be asking how am I coping with all these uh, extra activities that I'm going, doing next to my full-time job. So one thing I will tell you, it's hard and life will get tough. So socializing, sports, physical activities, mental activities, all, everything around you, it will change. So for me, it is now normal to work on or to study evenings, sometimes sleepless nights when I have assignments, weekends. I'm very happy if I get time on the weekends to go out, see friends. And yeah, so your body also starts telling you, take it easy. 
And that's when you start learning how to time manage yourself. And that's when also you start really recognizing how your human body, how it is coping with you. And you start being thankful for each beautiful moment you have. For, for the pains, I can tell you day and night about the back pains that you'll get, the, the headaches, stomach aches, everything possible that will happen to you. But at the end of the day, after this experience, you will be a different person. And you will start learning how you achieve big goals. You can start dreaming big. And that's exactly what happened to me. Henry Ford said once, Obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off your goals. So do me a favor, define your goals, and don't take your eyes off your goals. You will get there, you can do it. How am I finding energy to do all these extra activities? My first tip is to listen to your body. Stop eating junk food, eat healthy, and your body will start giving you also signals what you should be doing, not doing. Sports, please do sports and create a routine throughout your day to include sports. For me, my routine is to wake up each morning, go to the gym, go for a jog, play football, swim. Such activities, you can include them in your calendar. And you will be really, really surprised how you will be able to find actually time for these activities. So jogging, for example, it will take you only 10 minutes and you will be able to really feel the energy pumping from your body, yeah? Also, if you do this routine each day in the morning, so what I'm doing, 10 minutes, and then afterwards I'm in my full-time job, so for the eight, nine hours I work, and there I'm trying not to get stressed. I take some pauses, walk for five minutes, breathe some air, and Mediate, meditate, sorry, and breathe, yeah? And that's exactly what, uh, how you'll be able to keep this energy until the evening. So once you get to the evening, once you're done with the job, I take a little pause, go outside, have some family time, dinner with the family, and then afterwards, that's when I'm uh, starting to learn. And when I have assignments, I'll stay a little bit longer at night and on the weekends, but it's not always an assignment period. So for example, you can have some cheat days on the weekends. You can do some fun stuff on the weekends. You can get to, yeah, see some other people and socialize during the evenings or on the weekends. But just be careful about one thing. Just keep in mind that you have other stuff that needs to get accomplished. So for example, some learnings, and you'll be good. Just develop the routine. And believe me, you will be very surprised how much you can achieve in a very short time. So the body is, the brain is only a muscle. And if you train it to like set, fulfill this learning journey, it will do it. And don't underestimate your human body. And believe me, once you get to this point where you have your routine and you sit with your friends and they start telling you about how they're yeah, like binge watching Netflix or playing PS5 for the whole day, almost 24 seven, you'll start laughing internally because you know you are working really hard on yourself. You are going to achieve something big. And that's exactly where you start noticing. I am something exceptional. So my tips for you on how to start. It is the first step is to realize if you are happy with what you got or you want to take the next step. Afterwards, you can start looking, what is my objective? What are my dreams? Where do I want to get? And from there, you start defining the, your plan and your steps. So I understand that the plans actually do not bring you, like they're not fixed and they're nothing like Eisenhower, the general, Back then said, the plans are nothing, but planning is everything. But the hardest thing and the most difficult step is to start. 
Once you define a plan and you start with it, you've made the biggest step in the plan. And each time you will be faced with challenges throughout this whole journey. That's when you will start planning. You will start adapting. You will start learning from each experience. You will start maybe failing, which is really the best thing could happen to you because that's the best way to learn. And once you start leveraging and seeing how beautiful it is to learn, that's when you will start feeling accomplished. That's when you will start feeling like a human. The pain behind each failure, that's what makes you feel alive. And this is my tip for you. Don't be afraid of failure. It is part of the journey. And it is the really memorable part of the journey. You can tell your grandkids one day that you failed, but at least you tried. And also the second tip will be, don't forget your family, don't forget your friends, just stay in contact with everyone and have someone to talk to. Don't isolate yourself throughout this journey because it will be a long journey and you will need the people around you. Find the right friends. Find the people who will have a positive impact on your life. If you have a supporting network around you, that's when you reach big, big, the big, big, big dream. Find the friends that will push you towards the success and not friends that will push you down. And all this, what I'm saying, I've learned it and I've learned it the hard way. And I hope this video was exactly what you were searching for, some motivation to start. And please write me in the comment. I'm also more than happy if you'd like to get in contact with me privately because I love meeting new people and I love hearing from different experiences. And that's why I'm here on this YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, give me a like, and I'm more than happy and looking forward to meet you soon maybe. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.